Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the Brooke Ashley, and today we are here to discuss some breaking news regarding Diana Jenkins from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and the racist statements that she made. First things first, as a Black Bravo watcher who watches all the franchises, when stuff like this happens, it's very disappointing to say the least and it takes the fun out of watching the shows. This feels reminiscent with what happened on Salt Lake City with Jenny Wynn, and then them finding the racist post that she was making a few years ago. Diana, for you to have multiple strikes against you, on top of you being boring, bland, stale, no storyline, you don't fit in with the group, you have your nerve to be racist on top of that. But let me just quickly go over the details of what happened in case any of you guys missed it. And then I'll give you more of my final commentary. So this all started yesterday on Friday, I want to say morning. A black content creator whose name is Philly Diva on Instagram. She reposted like a funny tweet on her page. And as you can see, it's nothing serious. It's a side by side of an old picture of Diana and then a recent picture of her on the show. So it was apparent that Diana was upset about Philly Diva reposting this funny tweet, and she decides to hop in Philly Diva's comments, and she says it can't feel good being a Black content creator. Now, when I tell you about 50 of you guys tagged me in the comments, when I saw this for myself, I was in absolute shock. I felt a pit in the bottom of my stomach because I was like, there is no way in 2022 that Diana would sit there and type something so disgusting for the world to see. Well, you guys know me. I always take screenshots of everything because you know how folks like to delete. But Diana kept that comment up there. And then when she got lit up, because I, along with several other people, were in her comment section letting her know that she was out of order and that she needs to be fired. So here is the half-assed apology that Diana gave when she saw, oh my gosh, I'm about to be off this show and publicly disgraced. So Diana writes, Crystal Kung Minkoff woke me up screaming at me, demanding to know what I meant by this comment. I assume Black content creator was a title referring to a page that will be focused on snarky content. I copied the term because I thought that's what it meant. I didn't realize it was referencing to you as a Black woman and content creator. Please understand, I am not from this country, Philly Diva. So deeply sorry. I am devastated that this was taken to mean something racially insensitive. I understand now why it was taken that way. And that was never my intention. I am truly sorry. Now, me personally, I'm not buying that Diana didn't understand what that meant. I think that what Diana wrote was intentional. I think that she probably is racist towards Black people because there's also a history with Diana. In July of 2020, she pulled a Karen move towards a Black security guard. And I have the article from the Daily Mail right here. Kim Kardashian's friend, Diana Jenkins, is sued for chopping down $70,000 worth of neighbor's hedges to boost price of her $125 million Malibu mansion and accused of Karen behavior on a black security guard. A Malibu socialite has become embroiled in a bitter spat with her billionaire neighbor after she allegedly chopped down his hedge to boost the price of her $125 million mansion, DailyMail.com can reveal. Energy drink entrepreneur Diana Jenkins, a friend of Kim Kardashian West, ordered gardeners to trespass on property belonging to her neighbor Jan Coom, the founder of WhatsApp, to tear down a boundary hedge that she claimed was obstructing her ocean view of Paradise Cove, court papers reveal. When Coombe's security guard intervened and asked the gardeners to stop, Jenkins, the ex-wife of famed British financier, Roger Big Dog Jenkins, who was at one time ranked among the world's highest paid bankers, engaged in aggressive, racially prejudiced 
Karen type behavior against the African American man, the suit claims. She threatened to call the police on the black guard because he was in violation of the code, according to the court papers. Diana has a very nasty personality. I completely 100% believe that she was acting in a very Karen-like manner towards a black security guard who was just doing his job. I believe it. Let me just say this, y'all. I'm not buying Diana's apology. I already know she's gonna be sobbing at this reunion if she even attends. And I know there might be a few of you guys who want to say, well, you know, maybe she didn't understand and there's a language barrier. I mean, I don't see any language barrier when she's downing Sutton. She's on Sutton's ass this season talking about, you know, Sutton's very clumsy with her words. She's a weirdo. She's this and that. So I don't want to hear, I don't understand when it comes to you saying something nasty towards a black content creator. And Diana, I noticed that you're trying to delete pictures on Instagram because you're tired of folks eating you up in the comments. But baby, we already have the screenshots. You already said what you said and it's there. I can't stand Diana. And for the remainder of this season, I'll either be skipping her scenes. And if I do discuss one of her scenes, I'm going to be dragging her. Period, point blank. And Crystal, I know that you're good friends with Diana Jenkins. The same way that you're sitting up here saying that Sutton said something so horrible and so dark, I hope you have this same energy and I hope you're giving Miss Diana the blues for this nasty remark. And Diana, I don't understand why you wanted to go on this show in the first place. You have a lot of allegations swirling around you. I would have said, you know what? Let me just sit here and eat my food and enjoy my money. Although I might want to be famous, this just might not be the best idea. You've got a lot going on. And now to add this on top of that, I know you have regrets for even signing up to do this show. But y'all, I'm dying to know what you guys think about this. Do you believe that Diana is sincere about her apology and didn't know? Or do you think that she's full of BS like I do? Let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and you already know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all later. Bye.